<laughs> All right, in this video, we are gonna show you how to take photos of your Jeep. Stay tuned and hear from an expert. What's going on, everybody? My name is Harrison Christopher. I'm a photographer based out of Colorado Springs. I'm here today to show you how to take some pretty awesome photos of your Jeep up in the mountains, on trails, whatever. My first kind of tip with shooting cars outside is to follow the rule of thirds. Uh, which means, you know, in your frame, you have a you have a box like this. If you take it and you divide it into thirds like this, keep your subject along the thirds line. Don't really put it in the middle. Personally, I don't like that look of it being dead in the middle. There's just a lot of predictable space around the image. Um, I like to drop the uh, drop the Jeep into the lower third of the image. Um, I really, really like that look because you're able to to bring the background out of it a lot more. All right, my next tip for shooting Jeep specifically out on the trail is to, uh, to always keep your light back behind you. I, I love the look of the shadows coming towards, towards the camera, towards the viewer, whoever's looking at the photo. The reason why I like that is because if we were shooting, if the sun was up back behind us this way rather than right here, all of this would be flattened. This photo would be flattened because everything's the same exposure, same color, whatever, and it, 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 it does get rid of the, of the drama in the photo, so to speak. All right, the next bit that I wanted to talk to you about is the lenses that you use. Obviously, not everybody has a lens like this, just for recreational photography and everything like that, but I want to show you what is so important about a lens like this. As we start walking away from our subject, and you see the subject is our Jeep back there, as we walk further and further away, pay attention to the mountain in the background because what you'll notice is that mountain will have the illusion of getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And whenever we can step away from our subject to shoot, we are able to zoom in a lot more and we're able to, to, to drop your subject dead into that mountain. So that's the only thing that you see. At a time like this where the sun's real high, you don't really want to get the sky in it. It just doesn't look that good. It won't have that foresty kind of look that you might be going after. Uh, one thing that I do have today, since we are shooting into the sun, and we have a little bit of a glare off the hood of the Jeep, is I have a circular polarizer with us. What that basically does is that takes that bright glare and it cuts it down to make it real small. All right, another thing that's very important whenever you're shooting vehicles or Jeeps outside is to learn how to not position your car. Right now, we don't have it in the best spot. Uh, the sun's coming in real harsh. Everything in the background's kind of faded. There's a slight haze, so it just combines all those colors and you can't get any detail out of it. So ideally, what you want to do on a sunny day whenever you're taking photos is to pull your Jeep back into an area like that where it's really wooded, there's lots of shadows. You're able to, to, to really work with the lighting and and, uh, and fine tune your image and your exposure to that, that, that look that you might be going for in post-processing. All right, my next tip for shooting Jeeps outside is to use the shadow and the, and the, and the light to your advantage. So one of my favorite things to do is to put your subject, which right here is our Jeep, we're gonna put it in the shade. And what that's gonna allow us to do is we're able to work a lot more with our exposures to get everything set right. And we won't have any bright glaring spots on the Jeep. So whenever we edit it in post-processing, we aren't battling the sun so much and getting such a bright image. Now my, my following tip from this is, kinda goes hand in hand with shooting in the shade. Whenever you shoot in the shade, you're able to shoot through different plants and vegetation to really give things almost like a Jurassic Park kind of theme and vibe, which obviously the Jeep is perfect for as they had YJs all in Jurassic Park and they were freaking awesome. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. I hope you learned something. Be sure and follow my Instagram, Harry S. Chris. I uh, see lots of photos of the outdoors, Jeeps, and just everything so awesome about Colorado. All right, guys, this was fantastic. I learned so much about photography that I didn't know. If you guys enjoyed it, leave me a comment because Harrison has some amazing actual pro-level tips that I took out of this video 
because they just went over my head, but they may not go over your head and he can offer some amazing tips. So if you wanna see more of Harrison, let me know in the comments and we will get him back out here for some fantastic pro level photography skills stuff, you know, <laughs> whatever. But yeah, thanks for watching. Talk to you later, thanks. bye. Cool. Yeah. Oh, I gotta take a picture of that actually. Yeah. That's, that is amazing. Like